Okay, no, not that high. Are, are you? Are you kidding me? <laughs> you better keep this thing alive. I will, dude. Do you know me? I ordered some plants online. I thought it would be really fun to surprise Ryan and have him unbox the plants. See what he thinks, see what happens. He's never unboxed plants before, so I think it'll be kind of interesting. Here's the box right there. There are a lot of plants in there. So let's go get him and have him open the plants. I'm excited. He's never unboxed a plant. Well, he unboxed one plant for me when I wasn't here, so I don't even know like how that went. Ryan. What's up? I need you to come unbox some plants. Why? Will you? You bought more plants. <laughs> Just go open them. Is that one of the boxes that came today? Yes. I'll make you a deal. At some point in this video, you have to actually play a heavy metal time lapse song since you kind of did me wrong on the last video. You have to be the mother of my children. <laughs> I'm already the mother of your children. Well, that should be a no-brainer. And then we'll see what happens in the first one. Dude, I will never, never, ever, ever open another plant box, look at a plant. I will, ooh, I will touch a leaf of one of your plants <gasps> that you love. No. Hey, come open it. I'm gonna look dumb though. Why? Because I don't know anything about plants. All right. Okay, Ryan. I set you up a nice fancy seat right here. Yeah. Dude, it's freaking big. How many plants are in there? I don't remember. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I just kind of want to know your like initial reaction to the plants. Should I tell you what they cost and then you can react to that? Oh. Or do you even want to know? I don't know if I want to cry on camera. So no. <laughs> there are more than 10 plants? I don't because remember. If there's like 100 plants in this box. That there's might, not... That might be a problem. There's not 100 plants in this box. I have learned to not doubt you when it comes to buying plants. <laughs> So, <laughs> I'm an expert at it. We're gonna open the box. That's the tool. Don't look. <laughs> Ryan! That's dramatic. Yeah, that was. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> we'll see how the plants turn out after this. Ryan, I swear you're just being a little bit crazy with that knife. Okay. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay. All right, you're on. Those of you that follow me on Instagram know this is actually my second plant box opening because Harley was gone on a trip um, a while back and she got a plant here that I had to open immediately, I guess. It was a cactus. Follow me on Instagram if you want to see more interesting, <laughs> more interesting content like that. Beautiful cactus, so I, I give it that. I kept it alive for like two days until Harley got home. All right, that's a heat pack. This isn't as exciting as I thought it'd be. Just Dude, it's about to get real exciting real fast. Pop a couple for your guys' enjoyment. These are really satisfying. Okay, I'm not we open the plants. I'm excited. I know. So I don't know how they normally wrap plants, but I've opened up the bubble wrap and we have uh, paper. Is that like paper mache? They just set the plants like- This is really unique to this shop. I don't know anybody else that ships like this. Okay, I, I don't know what it is either. I don't know anyone who ships like it because I've never really seen how people ship. But anyhow, I got like paper mache here. I can see the first of like three different plants. Maybe you guys want to see? Um, I don't know what one to start with, so I'm just going to randomly draw one out. I don't want to damage it. Ooh, it's got to stick with yeah, it. Yeah, please don't damage it. I'll try and pronounce the names. There we go. That's basically my channel already. And I'll just look stupid trying to pronounce <laughs> That's this. That's my Super. channel. Uh, okay, I know the word begonia. I've heard Harley say that a lot lately. So I know begonia, and I know that's probably how it's said. Good job, huh? Yeah, thanks, Kai Kai. Paterlidiformis? Um, no. Paterlidiformis? And it says green form in parentheses. I don't know what that means. One of the arm thingies doesn't look as healthy as the others, but it's okay. My first impressions on this begonia pteridiformis. I like the pinks in it. It kind of has some pinks, reds. Well, and the, the leaf shape, like the leaves are kind of really long and thin, kind of spiky, dotted. As far as I know anything about plants, it's a good looking plant, I guess. All right, anyhow, that's the Pagonia pteridiformis. Moving on. Okay, we are on to plant number two. We're gonna start speeding up a little bit more or else um, I'm probably never gonna get through this because Harley probably has like a bazillion plants in this box. <laughs> Some sort of magic trick. I'm gonna keep pulling plant after plant after plant out. 
Oh wow, this one kind of looks looks similar to that begonia I just opened. So, oh, this is a begonia. Check it out. I recognize that. Give me props Good in job. the comments below. <laughs> Good job. Don't hate on me too hard. A begonia S P A F F Men Demla Lay. The words are kind of covered with dirt, so. I don't even know how to pronounce this okay, one. Okay, I'll put it on the screen yeah, so they'll see. <laughs> I killed that one. It looks very similar to that first begonia I opened. I actually like this one a lot more. The other ones are like long and, and thin. This one's like really filled out. It feels like a bigger plant to me, but it's probably about the same size. It has the reds in it, but not as much red as the first plant, but it has a lot of reds in it. And I don't know anything about plants, so like color's the first thing that catches my eyes. If it has like different colors or um, really vivid colors, that's something that always catches my eye. Plant number three on this crazy journey of opening up plants. Man, this is another begonia. Just, I saw the name on it, so I'm not gonna lie. I, I still don't know what a begonia is. It actually looks just like a bigger version of that last one, of number two that I opened. Like, <laughs> seriously, it really does. Okay. This one has like two super big leaves, relatively speaking. Um, it looks like it actually has one that, I mean, I would guess this is a leaf that's about to bloom. Um, but yeah, really big leaves, still has that like, it almost looks like a watermelon plant, like red colors with greens. Ooh, it feels weird, kind of fuzzy. I haven't smelled any of the other ones. <laughs> plant number four. Feels like we're on 100, but still only number four. I'm sorry to disappoint you. Okay, this is where I'm starting to feel really dumb because all these plants are starting to look like the same to me. Like just, they're a little bit bigger or, I don't know, so I apologize if there's some- It's called plant blindness. I am plant blind, like Harley's truck blind. I say, hey, that's a cool truck. And she says, that looks just like your truck. <laughs> no, no. Anyhow, this is a begonia arantiflora? Yeah, that's pretty good. Arantiflora? Okay, that's what we're gonna go with then. If I'm wrong, uh, I apologize, but this one, the leaves look just bunched up together, but seriously, it looks like all the other begonias has red on the bottom, green on the top. I'm really feeling the plant blindness right now. I don't know what more to say about it that I haven't said about the other ones. I'm trying so hard to like give accurate descriptions of these, really but I just think, have no clue. Like you genuinely think they look alike? Yes, I like Even literally. if you sit them down and look at them all together? I'll do that at the end, but seriously, right now I feel like they're just like different shapes and sizes, but like literally the same thing. All right, we're gonna move on to plant number five since the first four are like the same plant. Harley's pulling a fast one on me. That was, is that is that this YouTube video is give Dude. Ryan a box of plants that are literally okay, the exact there, same and see if he can tell the difference. There is a duplicate in there, but you haven't gotten to it. And okay. my one of my top favorite begonias plants is in there right now. So I hope you like can pick it out. What do you know? Another begonia. Begonia six U six six four. Yeah, that's the one. All right, moving on to the next plant, begonia Cleopatra. Is that how you say it, Cleopatra? I'm not sure how to say it, actually. Cleopatra instead of a. But that's what it seems like to me. This one has a lot longer stems, red on the bottom, green on the top. Oh, actually it's a little bit reddish on the top of some of the leaves. I don't know. Yeah, I guess. I mean, this one does look different, like just by how stemmy it is and like floppy. Yeah. I don't know if that's a way of describing. Stemmy things. and floppy. I like it. Scientifically okay. driven here, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to say more about this one. So that's okay. Cool, good looking plant. Moving on to the next one. Wow, okay, I see, I think I see something different about this one. Another begonia. Begonia, oh, Austro-Vietnamica? Austro-Vietnamica. Austro so I guess I found out plant blindness is a thing. Is plant exhaustion a thing when like you're working through a box of plants and you're like exhausted and ready to no, be done? No, normal plant, normal people don't experience that because they're just so hyped to get new plants. Maybe you're not normal. Have you considered that? Um, no. This was already in here. Wasn't my fault. That's okay. We can propagate it. Oh, okay. Keep it. It's not dead. Hold on there, little guy. Harley will save you. Let's see PR. Mouth to mouth. Ooh, I think this is the last plant. So there is a light at the end of the tunnel for all of you people that have stuck around. Oh, before I get to this plant, I should talk to you about something else that's been growing. My Ramstein wall that everyone's been always commenting about, maybe not everyone, but you Ramstein followers, hopefully Harley will throw a shot in there of what we got up there. Still got a few things to go. Last plant, let's get to it. I saved the best for last. Begonia, nah, nah, in genus? 
Nahangensis. Dude, I yeah. This one. Okay, so that one will develop spikes. Really? When it's mature. Right? Let's see it. That would make this one more valuable. Wow. Right? Okay, that one like makes this plant cooler. That is kind of cool. I'm yeah, a plant is kind of cool. The spikes on the plant. Which is the plant itself. Yeah, no, that's, that's pretty cool. All right, are you guys just stuck around? We are officially out of plants, at least in this box, until the next box arrives, probably in five minutes. That leads us to the finale. Well, not the finale yet. Not the finale? The finale is gonna be me telling you the prices. Oh. And you being shocked. Okay, no, it's not that high. Plant number one is Begonia nahangenis. The one that grows spikes, okay? That one's pretty cool. Can't say it, it grows spikes. Number two, I don't remember the name for it, but it's big. It's got flowers. Okay, and look. It's got female blooms. It's got male blooms. I guess, so I guess it's number two. Number three on my favorite list is the elephant ear begonia. No, that's not really what it's called. I know. It's the U664, which we actually have two of. All right, Harley's gone. She's gotta change the baby's diaper. Save me! Okay, so we're gonna give away two of these, or we're gonna give away one of these begonias, US only, unfortunately. The best comment is going to win this begonia. My personal favorite comment, so the criteria for that is whatever I like the most. Do your best, give me a good comment. If I pick your comment, you will be getting one of these. The better one. Make sure you get the better one, okay? Next plant on my top favorites is actually plant number one. Um, that's our Begonia terra, terra deformis. Okay, Cle the Cleopatra and Species F. These two, I gotta say, they're like a tie for me. I mean, they seriously, to me, like look like dang near the same plant. This one, the stems are a little bit longer. That's a tie for me. Which leaves the last plant, which is just my least favorite plant. Don't be sad. I hope that's not Harley's favorite one. Okay, which plant do I think is Harley's favorite? I gotta go with the U664 because you accidentally ordered, accidentally ordered a hundred of them. No, she ordered two of them. No. Well, it's funny you should say that because I actually thought that it wasn't your favorite. I realized as I was talking that it probably was this one. No. Funny you should say that, because I actually wasn't gonna say that was your favorite one. Funny you should say that, because I actually realized that, upon looking at it closer, that it's not. It actually is this one. <laughs> no. Are you serious? I've literally picked every plant. I'm dead serious. You're down to three, dude. All right, we're down to three. <laughs> really, one of these three are your one favorites? One of those three is like top 10 favorite plants. These three. were like my bottom three on Number my- Number one favorite begonia is in those three. Number one favorite. Yes. Nope. I didn't say it. I was, <laughs> I was just moving. I was adjusting so it could be in the camera shot. Holy cow! One of these two is your favorite. You're so bad. Do you even know who I am as a person? No, I don't. No. Oh no way! <laughs> Are you kidding? I showed you this plant. I have pulled it out of my bio orb and brought it to you so many times. That is such a lie. Okay, honestly, yeah, literally like day before yesterday even. I don't remember seeing this ever before. Should I show you? Ring a bell really quick. Bro, that looks like all of these ones. No, it doesn't. So what, like literally, what is the difference between these and? I don't know, I love the growth pattern and the leaves. Begonia leaves are often like really thin, but these ones are thick, like fill it. This compared to like the rest of them, really waxy kind of. Okay, I mean, I can feel it. I don't know, and I think it's very striking how- It's like that striped border, and then the silver, silver is green in the middle, and I love it, and I really love the growth pattern. Like, it grows in really full, compared to a lot of begonia. Love that, fun, cool, okay, you lose. Well, I'm gonna win the next round. What do these plants cost? <laughs> That's a little bit of a spoiler alert. <laughs> So I don't think Ryan knows like what a normal plant costs. I'm a little nervous for him to know. This might be a game changer in our household. Yeah, let's do this. Okay, total cost. $382.90. Are, are you, you? Are you kidding me? 
380 Like, what were you expecting? I don't know. I could see like 100 bucks, like maybe like 10 to 20 bucks a plant. This one, my favorite one is probably the least uncommon though. Really? Yeah. And how much is that? Guess. Spiky one, let's say spiky one is like 60 bucks. Oh, 65. Okay, that is insane. 65, you better keep this thing alive. I will, dude. Do you know me? I don't mean to be condescending about plant prices, but I'm just like shocked. Okay, so you 664 um, that we bought two of apparently. I'm gonna say 35 a piece on these. 40? 45? 50? 50. $50 a piece for these two? That right there, that's Little Kai's Christmas. Gone. <laughs> little Kai's Christmas. Gone. Terra Fedormis, uh, 50 bucks. Well, we've been over 40 so far, so um, 30 bucks? 50. 50 bucks? Yep. This guy, the Af Mendum I, 40? 45? 50? Fifty-five? Sixty. Oh, dang. That crazy. Okay. And last one, the Cleopatra, Harley's favorite. Thirty bucks? Yeah. Whew. Good job. Is that what you were expecting? Well, there you go. My first plant unboxing. Yeah, okay. So those are all my plants from Mountain Orchids. You know what? Here's what I want to know in the comments. Like, what's the average that you guys spend plants on? Or what do you feel comfortable spending on a plant? I would like seriously be curious to know what the plant community spends on plants well yeah leave that in the comments down below one that is it for this video thank you so much two, for watching and i will see my next one three bye one thing about plants that i've been super impressed on after watching harley's youtube channel grow and seeing her followers i thought it was just like a really specific person that liked plants i have to 100 percent say i am completely wrong on that and i apologize if i ever gave the impression that like having a hobby of houseplants wasn't something normal. After seeing some followers, and we ran into some people at the store when we were looking for plants one time, I was super, super, super impressed by like how diverse the, the plant community is. And that is not something I really expected. So I thought that was totally awesome, seeing all sorts of different people that really like plants. I thought that was totally cool. Something I did not expect. I just wanted, I don't know if that's an, would you call that an apology? But if I gave some sort of impression that liking plants was like abnormal, it is not. There's a lot of people that like plants and there's a lot of people that I never would have thought like plants that absolutely love them. And I think it's great. One time we were at the store and guy, Chris, Chris, if you watch, if you watch this video, comment below and we'll get you a prize or something. But Chris stopped Harley in the store. And this was like a big guy, looked like, I don't know. Like super tough guy. Super tough guy. He actually recognized Harley and said, oh, she can help you. Cause she, he was talking to another guy. So he says, oh, Harley can help you with all your plant stuff. Harley sat and chatted with him for a while. And that was like three people. So Chris, and I don't know the name of the other guy that was there, but three people sitting there chatting in the middle of a store about plants that probably never would have said a word to each other before. And I thought that was like the coolest thing. That changed my perspective on plants, that one experience, and uh, helped me appreciate them a lot more. So 